Well, this uh, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, generally the busiest travel day of the year, but some fear this year could be worse because of concerns over those full body scanners. ABC 15's Eric English is live at Sky Harbor, and Eric calls for people to sort of opt out of going through the scanners. Sounds like it didn't really come to pass. Well, no, not at all. In fact, things are going along quite well here at Sky Harbor. There are no delays right now on departures, and take a look behind me. You can see there's very little, uh, very little wait out here. In fact, there's nobody out here waiting to get through TSA security right now. But earlier this afternoon, some people did show up to protest TSA's security measures. Outside Terminal 4, a small group held signs and encouraged travelers to opt out of the TSA's body scanners when they pass through the security checkpoints. Today we're just here to voice our concerns over the new TSA policies regarding the scanners that take naked pictures of you and the new enhanced pat-downs. They were hoping an increase in pat-downs would cause delays, forcing the TSA to reconsider their policies, but that never happened as TSA employees were out in force and passengers were able to pass through security with little delay. Not a lot, no, no. It's Thank good. You. It's very good. Yeah, they must be very organized. Most passengers took little exception to the increased security, hoping the efforts would mean a safe arrival at their destination. Honestly, the government knows a lot more about security than I do, so whatever they say, I trust. Personally, I prefer to go and search and get there in one piece than to walk by and slide by and don't get there at all. Now, again, things are going very well here at Sky Harbor. But this afternoon, I spoke with the protesters who were handing out these blue gloves. They suggested that the TSA agents were spreading disease by not changing out their gloves after touching multiple people. But I spoke with the TSA officials today, and they assured me that it is standard procedure for TSA agents to change out those gloves after every contact they make with passengers. We're live at Sky Harbor tonight. Eric English, ABC 15 News.